Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to use a ultra librarian model. So here we have this device, which is the Kingston DDR3 memory chip. This is a 96 ball FBGA DDR3 L four gigabyte chip here. Okay, so memory IC. And it operates at 933 megahertz for the clock frequency. Now we would scroll down DigiKey here and click on the link. This will pull up our ultra librarian link for the device. This doesn't have a 3D model, so I can request it, but I decided to go on 3D Content Central, typed in DDR3, and then looked for something that said 96 pin. This doesn't show the bolts on the bottom, but uh, good enough for now. For a uh, better solution you would go to maybe pcblibraries.com and that way you can use exactly this kind of uh, you can get the exact kind of 3d model you're looking for that being said i went ahead and downloaded the 3d step model you make a free account on 3d content central download step version ap214 download and then the file gets downloaded then you would put it in some folder where you would hold your 3D models. Now, let's import the schematic symbol, the PCB footprint, and the 3D model and combine them to, me, to make a full device. So hit download, and then you also want to select the ORCID Capture 17.2. And if you're using other software, then you want to download it as, as well. So I'm logging in to download. These are selected, download. You can also look at video tutorials to see how to do this, but let's select this folder. So I went ahead and put this in my hardware devices folder. And I'll use 7-zip or Windows Explorer to extract all into this UL folder. Now, we need to get the schematic symbol. So we would go into ORCID Capture, choose File, Import, library xml select the xml file then select the file just go with the default options click ok once that's done it will automatically create the olb so now we can open the olb by going to file open library and then navigate to the folder and you'll see the olb was created so i'll choose open and here we can actually right click and rename just save as a uh, different name so you can say Kingston library you can start this as your own library if you want you know DDR or something like that and voila you know you can double click on this component and this is where you would edit the actual source library part okay so this looks good it has information to keep part number manufacturer part number with the underscores MFR name Okay, I generally prefer a consistent naming methodology, like if it'll be MFR in one area, it should be MFR part number in the other. So let me do this. Manufacturer part, oh, manufacturer name, right? And then I can just copy this and paste it. Check mark. Fantastic. Next, let's save this. Now you can modify the device. You can right mouse button to zoom in and then modify these pins, move them around. People usually do that, you know. I will leave it as is, and this is my library. Looking good. The next step is the footprint. So let's go into, all right. So the next step is the PCB footprint. Let's go into ORCAD PCB Designer Professional or ORCAD standard, whatever you're using, just ORCAD PCB designer. Then you want to go on ORCAD capture XML or this folder here. Now, here's the thing. This batch file, this is the Windows batch file. You have to right click and you can edit it, right? And in, in the instructions, it will look for an Allegro.exe file. When it calls Allegro.exe, it's assuming that it's in your environment variable path. Okay, 
the environment variable path will let you know where the allegro.exe it will feed that to the system it will let you know where it is let the system know where it is if you don't have that set then you need to go to your environment variables right and then look and make sure that your path you're actually I would even go as far as the system path environment variable has the cadence folder but if you don't have that you know you can go in your user environment variables like for my specific name and then include it as necessary now it's not there so I don't think this will execute properly let's double click we will run this anyway and see Windows cannot find Allegro.exe so I have to make sure that my uh, my Allegro is in the environment variables so let's fix that for my system environment variables choose the path we'll make a new one browse and then this PC OS cadence SVB underscore 17.4 tools bin. This folder has the software like capture.exe, allegro.exe, so on and so forth. Once that's set, you click OK, click OK. And now, when I try to run the batch file, actually, I should close PCP Editor because it will open it, it will execute it. If I already have it open, it's already using my one license or seat. So if it if I try to run the batch file, it will try to open another license or seat. Okay, so now it opened it. And see in the window, it's saying creating footprints. Right, okay, so now we open this file in WorkAd PCB Editor. Let's see what happens. Looking good. Now let's look at the 3D model. Okay, and it has the it has some kind of step model associated with with it already or rather this looks like the package symbol geometry here what you can do is get your own model file and click by clicking on this ellipses and get the 3d model and you can place it on there luckily this mapped exactly where we wanted it let me turn off the symbol and pin one is in the upper left so that's great and pin one the pin one indicator is in the upper left as well. That's exactly what we want. So I will close this, save, reopen this 3D model here. Okay, it's looking good. Finally, this 3D model should be visible um, or should be associated with the schematic symbol. So make sure that this same file name, BGA96 underscore is associated with uh, the PCB footprint uh, property, which it is. Once the name of the PCB footprint is in here, uh, ORCAD can look anywhere on your computer system, anywhere on a server, on the cloud, somewhere. It will search for it. And where will it search for it? Well, to answer that, you would go into PCB Editor, Setup, User Preferences, then go to Paths, Library, and then you'll use P PSM path. Expand this. These are the locations it looks for to find the PCB footprint. It would be in the current working directory of the printed circuit board or you know, some project or something. It would be in the symbols folder, subfolder within a current working directory for your board. It would be in the folder above your working folder for a printed circuit board or device. It would be in a folder above in a symbols folder and one level above the current working directory or in one of these default folders. I'm actually going to put my device, my PCB footprint in hmm, this shared local PCB symbols folder. Okay, so for this shared local PCB footprint symbols folder, I'm going to copy this, navigate to that folder by hitting enter. And here I actually have the the um, files copied except for the file that says import guide and except for the batch file everything else I put in here in this share local PCB symbols folder now since I know PCB editor looks in this folder for the footprint names it will import it it will associate the footprint this footprint name with the schematic symbol okay yes yeah, it's associated. 
So now anytime I drop this schematic symbol into a schematic, it's going to it's going to um, associate the footprint with it. So let's open up an example project here. Right. And then I'm going to just add my library. This project doesn't have the library added, which is fine. I'm actually going to go over here, add a part, and I'll just add this library I created. Kingston memory. Now this Kingston memory, okay, actually this is the wrong one. Kingston DDR is the name of the folder. Ah. So we need to go back to where we downloaded the device because remember we left the the library inside of the folder that we imported from ultra librarian and now it has the part in here i'm going to zoom out with o on the keyboard then place this device anywhere okay i'll right click and mode and instead create a new page on my schematic and then place this and voila and then select so right click show footprint now it doesn't load the footprint details it will only show the footprint if i were to put this uh put these files really just the dra and the psm file and the pad file if i control c and put those into the other default symbols folder. So SPB underscore 17.4, share, PCB, PCB underscore lib, symbols. And if I were to drop this in here, deselect this and I pull it up again, it shows up. It, it only does it for this folder and one other folder for the preview. For But for any of the, any of the other folders, it just doesn't. Um, and this is li listed or noted in the cadence documentation from since version 16.5 or 6, I believe. I'm not a fan of putting PCB footprints into this default folder. Uh, I usually prefer putting it in a server or its own f local folder that multiple people can access. But if you wanted to do this, this is fine too, just to see the footprint. All right, now you can use this um, for whatever you want, right? You can create a PCB, a new layout. Okay, so that is how you create a device by using the download feature from Ultra Librarian and creating your device. It has a schematic symbol, the PCB footprint, the 3D model, and that's it. Thanks for watching.